Right, let's go back to the Kingsway Hospital in Amazimtoti. We're joined live uh, by our reporter Tuba Vilani uh, from Durban now. Uh, Tuba, good afternoon to you. I was asking you, what's the status um, of that hospital right now? Parts of it were closed a couple of days ago. Where are we right now? Yes, uh, thank you so much. We're here outside the Kingsway Hospital in Manzimdodi on the south of Devon. This is the second hospital under the NETCAC group that has been closed. We understand that uh, initially it was the St. Augustine in the CBD. Now it is the uh, Kingsway Hospital here. Um, according to the statement that was released by the hospital, there was a patient that tested positive and then the hospital said, as they decided to shut down the intake or the admission of any patient. But now I'm with uh, Dinosa's uh, Provincial Secretary, Mandla Shabangu. Let me speak to him now. Uh, Nopala, thank you so much for your time. There are issues here in the hospital. According to the hospital, one patient has tested positive. What is the latest? I understand you have just had the meeting with them. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Tuba, uh, and the viewers at home. Yes, indeed, we, we had a meeting with management as early as Tuesday when this thing broke, that they have decided to suspend any admissions to the hospital, and then we're interested of, of the reasons, because we did not hear anything that was happening before that. All of a sudden, the hospital's admissions were closed. Now, the department uh, or HR who was engaging with us, she said it is a precautionary decision they took because there was a positive patient. And after that, we've received a lot of complaints from nurses and families of some nurses who are working in the hospital being scared and concerned because of the, the contacts some of their relatives have been having with people who tested positive in the facility. And the challenge they were having is that the testing period of some of the employees, you get tested today, maybe a day later or two, if you test negative, you are asked to come back to work, which is creating a problem. And others are not even tested because they are not presenting the signs of a flu, as we all know, that people must present with those signs. Now, this is really a concern on our side because we've heard through the, those who are researchers to say this virus can stay in your system without you showing any signs. Now, our worry is that if I test negative two days I'm back at work and I'm not tested after that, it is creating a problem of uncertainty because our members do not know their status while they are in this uh, 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 quarantine or while they are continuing working when the tests are positive and are negative within the 14 days. No, Bala, it looks like um, there is a um, lot of negligence and, 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 and they don't want to come out and, and say, look, um, staff, this is what we're currently facing and that's the reason why we decided to close the hospital. We will suspect so because... Uh, the, the first complaint that our members are raising with net care, not this hospital only, in general, is the issue of transparency. Members are not saying net care management must tell them who's affected in which ward, but members want to know the infection rate in the facility, whether it is a call for concern or not, because when the hospital keeps on pretending that all is well, while people are getting sick, it is creating an uncertainty and people are scared at home. So workers are complaining and are concerned that management is not open to them in putting them in the picture before some decisions are even made. Because even closure of the hospital for admission, all staff are, are, saw it on the media. They did not get even a chance to consult and be advised on why that decision. They were only saw it in the media and when it was in the media, it is only then when the statement was issued. So workers feel neglected and they are not taken along to combat the spread of the virus because management is doing things on their own without consulting workers, whether with good or bad intention, we do not know. But workers feel that they are left out in the mix of this, but they are directly involved and they wish management can try to improve on their manner they communicate, not to say they must disclose the cases in the facility, but if there's a call for concern, 
workers feel that they need to be taken in confidence of what is happening in their own hospital because they need to take precautionary measures in their homes in protecting their families. Workers really need to be taken into confidence of what is happening at their workplace. Um, in this particular case, we're talking about this hospital behind me, that's the Kingsway Hospital. Um, the Dinosa you know, uh, secretary in Guazulu Natal is saying that there are issues um, surrounding uh, transparency about, um, from the side of the management of NetCare. They are saying um, workers were not uh, being told, they are not being told of what is happening, um, whatever that they know and they heard about, they only heard through the media. So they are saying, they are asking the Department of Health, the National Department of Health, to intervene so that more lives and the spread will be, could be prevented.